Welcome back. Greetings. My name is Tim and of course this is TJM Woodworks. Today we're going to add the drawer slide hardware to the drawers using the markings we established in the previous episode. Drawer slides are not difficult to add to a project so don't be nervous about using them in your project. In this project, there is no face frame separating the drawers from one another. As such, this adds more risk to the builder as errors with one drawer can compound to the one above and so on. For example, if your bottom drawer skews to one side and the drawer above does not, then your assembly will not be visually appealing. With three drawers and no face frame, we will need to take some time, final assembly, into the cabinet to get it right. For now, I like to insert the drawer slides dimensionally on both the cabinet and the drawers. On the drawers, the slides are mounted two inches from the bottom of the drawer slide. So on the cabinet, we're looking for a 1 16th clearance. Thus, our measurements on the cabinet is 2 and 1 16th inches, which provides our clearance. If you like these videos, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when future videos are published. I do enjoy when a project comes together perfectly. A, wood is not perfect and in some regards it fights against you. For example, when it comes to placing holes for drilling, you measure the hole, you mark the hole, and then when you go to center punch the hole, you find that it lands on top of a piece of wood grain. So when you try to actually center punch the hole, the center punch moves slightly off 164th to 132nd to one side or another into the softer wood. Generally, it's not enough to make a difference and typically not enough to be noticed by the naked eye, but there are times when they stack up and cause difficulty with hardware or other assembly plans. Same goes with trimming. You want the perfect lines, the perfect 45 degree angles, the perfect corners, and the tight joints on the corners. After all, for each drawer, there are four corners that need to align perfectly as this is one of the items that the customer will see first, right? So for me, this requires a custom approach where each piece will be marked and then custom fit to ensure any wood difficulty is previously mentioned are kept on the outside of your piece where a saw blade or sander can easily clean up minor errors and the eye is never the wiser.